here. Great to have you here in Brazil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. It was a fast trip for you here. You're already leaving. I know. I'm leaving, but I I'm going to Porto Alegre. Oh, that's so good. So I'm, I'm excited. So I'm not leaving Brazil just yet. Yeah. But I'm, uh, I'm leaving Sao Paulo. Do you carry in memories from Sao Paulo with you? Absolutely. I mean, the show I just did was, was so much fun. <laughs> I had the absolute best time ever and the fans are amazing. And we know that you already have like a huge sisterhood Brazilian going on, Brazilian sisterhood with yeah. Anita and we are aware, did you know Pablo Vittar? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're all friends on social media and they're so cool. You messed with our feelings when you posted videos of you singing together. Like, well, like, I love that song that she's got with Puba. It's great. It's really nice. <laughs> Do you know we're gonna play a little game with you? And it's a challenge because we I'm basically giving you situations and three female pop artists and you have to choose one. Okay. They're all amazing, but this is a challenge, so you have to choose one. Okay. okay. Who would you ask to um, help you write songs? Christina Aguilera, Madonna, or Sia? Sia. That's good. Who would you um, go out with on a shopping spree? Britney Spears, Rihanna, or Nicki Minaj? Rihanna. Who for sure would be on your pool party guest list? Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, or Miley Cyrus? Oh, they're all so great. Uh, <laughs> Miley. I feel like she would come with a confetti cannon. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, and how would you take? And who would you ask to take care of your pet when you're traveling? Avril Lavigne, Alicia Keys, or Adele? To look after my pet. Yeah. Um, maybe Adele. I would ask Adele too, to be honest. That's yeah, really sweet. Um, and who would who would be on your team on a dodgeball game? Pink, Rihanna, or Beyonce? Pink. And who would be more useful to help you get out of a desert island? Um, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, or Katy Perry? I feel like Katy Perry. She did the roar thing, maybe. You she know? would, yeah, she would. Maybe would me. help. <laughs> and who would you call to eat a lot of ice cream and watch Netflix? Probably like Stranger Things season three. Okay, <laughs> Lord Fifth Harmony or Nicki Minaj? Fifth Harmony. It would be fun because you get to sit with all of them and yeah, you watch it together. Yeah, there's a lot more people. <laughs> and who would you like to be your secret Santa on Christmas? Um, Beyonce, Adele, or Celine Dion? Uh, the, uh, Stepped up the game here, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is tricky. Uh, secret Santa. Interesting. And you uh, have to choose them a gift. I'm going to make it harder for you. I'm sorry. I have to choose a gift <laughs> yeah. for them? Damn, but they all have everything. They do. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you give someone that has everything? I um, I would I would go for Celine Dion, just because it would be so interesting. I've seen her like rock Vetterman, so I just go and get her like a jumper. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's talk about new rules, cause come on. One, don't pick up the phone. He knows I'm calling cause he's drunk and alone. A new rules here is what we call an anthem. Like everyone sings along. It, it honestly, it's the Brazilian anthem. Thank you. And um, how strict are we supposed to be towards the new rules? Has there been any exceptions? Anything has changed? I feel. I feel like you're allowed to to break the rules no more than twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's. Um, I think you know you gotta go easy on yourself. It's it's kind of, it's it's, their rules that if if, if. So should you want to stick to them? Oh, okay. They're there for you. <laughs> okay. They're there to help. <laughs> New Rules was already a huge hit, but it became, it became even bigger after its music video. Do you believe that? Yes, all? absolutely. I think the video was definitely like rocket fuel for the song. It, um, I guess it just showed another side of the story. And, I, you know, it was something that I was very, very close to and something that I could really relate to. And it was interesting to see that people's responses was also the same. Mm -hmm. You know, that they felt, you know, that they've also been in that situation and that I guess it's just got like a nice sentiment and a nice story behind it mm -hmm. that um, I think people reacted really well to it. Yeah. And do you believe in order to be a huge pop star, you need to have um, good music videos like the same happened with Madonna and Michael Jackson? And some artists believe that um, that it's overdue, like you don't really need a good music video. Um, what I, are your views on that? I think it's important to have good music to begin with. I think sometimes not necessarily a video can really translate what the, what a song does or how a song makes you feel. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time I feel like a video is really a bonus and something that shows like another side of the story. Um, 
but I also do think that 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 you know videos are also important. You know, it is like another extension of who you are as an artist and what you want to portray and what you want people to see. And I guess it's also like a part of your personality that you're really putting out there yeah. with your story. So I do think it's important, but I don't think it's as important as the music itself. I got no rules, I count them. And do you ever believe during your waitress day that you would be traveling the world doing what you love? Was I mean, I dream? always dreamed of it, but I, I never really thought it was possible. And I remember when I first signed my deal and I was like, oh, I get to do this. Like, I, I get to go to the studio every day and I get to write songs and I quit my job. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And that was the craziest moment ever where I was like, okay, I'm never letting go of this. Like, there's, there's just no way I want to do anything other than this. And your path to fame kind of happened quite fast. How do you deal with that? It took a really long time for people to get to know me. And mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't feel famous. Like, I think it's really exciting that people know the songs and that's really nice. But I, I guess because I'm traveling so much that it all kind of comes in short bursts. And my, like, personal life and work life is just so different. Mm -hmm. That when I go home, I just invite all my friends around and we have dinner and it's just so, like, it's so normal. Mm -hmm. We'll just sit in front of the TV and watch Netflix. And it's just... Any favorite TV shows? Stranger Things. Oh, you watched the season two? Yeah. Did you cry? Oh, like, I <laughs> I definitely cried, but I watched it in two days. Oh. You just were the marathonist. Watched. You watched it. Yeah. No, that's good. I had, like, I had, like, a few hours off and I just sat there and just watched them back to back. It was brilliant. That's great. You have a lot of questions, Ziva. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs>